I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk bad rap, basketball, and wrestling. And the topic today is basketball. More importantly, what is wrong with the Golden State Warriors? You feel me? Now, before Klay Thompson came back, everybody was saying that when Klay Thompson come back, they're easily going to be a championship team. You feel me? They was already the first seed prior to having Klay Thompson. They was already playing great. Steph was already being the MVP. The role players was playing great. Everybody was a fan of Gary Payton Jr. So they was like, once Klay come back, he just going to fit in like a glove and it's finals for them. You feel me? That's not what happened, you feel me? It's not going down like that whatsoever, you feel me? So far, Klay Thompson has scored 11, 14, and 17 points. That's it, you feel me? And he's three games back, he's only scored that. His tie is 17 so far, you feel me? And he's not playing in back-to-backs, and he's only playing about 20 minutes a game, you feel me? I expect him probably around March, March, April maybe, to him start playing regular minutes. But he he's not I wasn't expecting him to come back and score thirty already. He wasn't gonna score thirty in the quarter fresh off for two ACL injuries. He wasn't. It's definitely gonna take him a while to get back into the full things, you feel me? Even though that guys like Andrew Wiggins and Gary Payne Junior and um what's the other kid name? Oh my oh man. Otto Porter even though them guys is playing good, I feel like they're doing they're playing good with house money. You feel me? Like nobody was expecting them to be good. Like Steph Curry was literally carrying them, breaking records, you feel me? And I feel like that's another reason why Klay Thompson came back at the perfect time. Steph Curry is definitely fatigued, you feel me? He's definitely hit his he's exhausted, you could tell. Even like emotionally, for him to already break the most three point records, and he did that like seven games ago so every three-pointer he now he make now is just keep creating history that's exhausting i ain't gonna hold you that's mentally exhausting and then like physically exhausting he's tired of running around all the time you feel me he's one player so far one star player that i feel like hasn't missed no time with safety um health to safety protocols steph curry has been playing in almost every game unless they sit him off for rest you feel me that's going to come back to hurt you you feel me and then Draymond Green has missed, like, what, the last 12 games? So I feel like all of that is coming back to Golden State at once. You feel me? Whereas, like, you got to give Klay Thompson a certain amount of shots. Steph Curry's fatigued. Draymond is injured. The role players has kind of reached their peak. You feel me? I see people trying to say Andrew Wiggins is an all-star. Respectfully, you know he's not. He's having a great year, a good year. He's not an all-star, though. Andrew Wiggins should not be in the all-star game. And he damn sure shouldn't be an all-star starter, respectfully. But I feel like maybe around March or something, Golden State going to get back in their groove, you feel me? But I didn't think they was going to win the finals with Klay Thompson. Now I'm kind of I'm kind of 100% positive they're not going to win the finals this year. That's my opinion. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.